to EA Sports. It is the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL action. Let's drop the puck. Ah. Opening faceoff is just seconds away. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. to start and as a result Cheryl they got the lead typically the home team has the advantage James so when the away team comes into the barn they want to make sure that they're not flat footed that they're urgent they're aggressive and to start this period to start the game they've been ready right from the off and they're rewarded with a goal the Sharks are across the line and into the offensive end and that's broken up with a stick in front well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Kakanen's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play. He elects to hold on. Montreal's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. The Canadians have it against the wall. And still using the stick to poke the puck away. Looks to set up at the point now. Huge steal in his own end. Eklund's got it on the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Couture. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Slides it diagonally to Anderson. Poked away at center ice. Moves it to Eklund. And that's off target as it hits a body. And he takes the feed. Sent into the offensive zone. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Moves the puck across to Sutherland. And now it's grabbed by Stern. And that goes off a player. Hammers a shot. Allen's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 1-0 the score. The Canadians win the draw. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Pearson's got it behind the net. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. Puts it on net, makes the save. Teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Let's the wrister go. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Montreal's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Canadians have it now. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. Here's a shot. Just gets enough to keep it out. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. come up with the defensive zone draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Monaghan. 
from one point man to another. Shot! Fantastic save! Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. And he's knocked off the puck there. Now a quick pass to Hurdle. The Sharks take it along the wall. Poked away by Cooley. Dished on over to Weidman. And he retreats with the puck deep inside his own end. Looking to make something happen at center. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Takes the feed. What a hit on the play! Oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Oh, stick save and a few. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Off the left wing and into center. Montreal's got the puck. Sends the pass over. Oh, that's a huge stop by Trakuma. It's critical. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James, and that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. They saw here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Launches him into the boards. Gain possession. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And he stands tall in goal. Slides the puck across to Evans. Here they come on the rush. Takes a shot. And that carries off a body in the lane. From point blank. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Moves it quickly over to Sturm. Moves it around along the half wall. Montreal's got the puck. Levels him against the wall. Sends it into the offensive zone. Matheson stick handling in his own zone. With possession along the wall. Inside the final minute of the first here. And that one's turned aside. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Picked up along the wall by Caulfield. Easily turned away by the goalie's glove. Quick pass to Coonan. Sends it over to Carpenter. Fires it. Big save just as time runs out. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. 
Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. San Jose is fortunate to be in a tie game here, James. I mean, they've popped the puck up a ton and haven't managed the puck. They've got to limit those turnovers if they want to be successful. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Quick feed to declare. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Caulfield's came the line and on the attack. Here's a short pass to Savard. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he takes the feed. Great poke check on the reach. Gains the zone from the right. Takes it into the slot. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Here's the pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. Takes the feed. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. A oh, spectacular stop there! He scores! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender. This is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Canadians, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one-way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Slides it over with pace to Weidman. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Turns it away on the slap shot. Reaches out and uses the stick. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Canadians have it now. With authority. Drives to the paint. Denies him in close. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And that's blocked in front. Pass the puck. Cut into the net. Oh, what a stop on the play. All sorts of quick scores. And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we got a tie game. Montreal's won it. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. And loses possession after a solid hit. And he loses control of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Ferraro. The Canadians have it from their own end. Slides the puck across to Harris. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Kovacevic has got it across the line. The Canadians have it behind the net, and he slides it quickly to Harris. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Picked up along the boards by Anderson. Scores! And that's his first goal in a postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice 
start. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. The Canadians have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Levels them with the hit. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Through center. Here they are on the attack. Fires it on net. Oh, and he makes another save. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. The Canadians will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Oh, fantastic save by Allen. What an opportunity, and it just climbed over the net there. I thought, oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. A goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Here in the back half of this period, Montreal's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Suzuki's won the faceoff. Allen's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out-will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Battling for it along the boards. Takes the puck. Makes his presence known on the ice. Skates to the crease. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Takes a big hit. Moves it to Granlin. Shot. That's blocked by Allen. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Montreal's on the attack. Takes the shot. Big save. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Still has possession. From center, they get into the attacking area. Shot! And makes the save. And now he moves it quickly to Kovacevic. Kakinen's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Montreal's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. The Canadians win the faceoff. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Kakinen. Addison's got the puck in his own zone. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Kovacevic. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. It's Galley time. Brendan Gallagher scores. I love the way they are able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have. And then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The Canadians extend the lead to two here as they get closer and closer to intermission, Cheryl. Great timing to go up by two. You've dictated the play. You're coming into the end of the second period, and you find a way to get another. Now, right off of this face-off, they'll really want to set the tone and keep their opponent on their heels. Cooley's taking it from his own end. Sends it in front, and that's intercepted. San Jose's got it against the boards. Quick pass to Pearson. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Shot! Oh, and he can't bury that one! Uh, you don't get any opportunities like that. Scores! At the buzzer, and they put one! Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward.
kids might say, Cheryl. They're falling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got an intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. Great hit on the play. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Ferraro's got it in the defensive end. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. Scoops up the puck. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Matheson. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Taken by Matheson. And that's poked away. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Steps inside. Here's a chance. Oh, off his club. He just got enough of it. Allen's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Quick feed to Eklund. Great hand-eye contact on the play. Handles the puck. Evans plays it now. The shark step. He's got a step. And there's the save. Here's a short pass to Pearson. Gaining momentum up along the side. And that pass is redirected. Blocked in front. San Jose is going on the attack as they gain the zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Here's a feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Too much traffic in the lane. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Puts it on net. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The Sharks have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. Chance in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Scooped up along the wall by Pizzetta. Moves it to Weidman. San Jose has got control of it now here in the offensive end. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. San Jose's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Hurdle's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Kakanen's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Poked away by Dvorak. With the puck inside the defensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Slavkovsky's moving the puck through his own zone. 
And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, that's a good hit. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Gains the zone through center. Now over to Caulfield. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Caulfield's going to play it against the half wall. The Sharks take over on possession. Moving into the attacking zone. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Montreal's looking to break out. Puts it in deep. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it across to Ackland. Sends it in front. Picked off in front. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Play rolls on. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action, and that's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. And uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away. Fires it into the offensive zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Feeds the puck across to Doc. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And it's a quick pass to Sturm. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Takes the feed from the left side. He got all of that hit on the play. Great use of the wall in the pass. Center feed. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. And now he passes up to Ruda. Gets the puck in deep. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Pearson. And now it's to Evans. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Canadians gain control of it. Taken along the wall by Pearson. They fight for it along the boards. Oh, and a great hit on play to force the turnover by Carpenter. San Jose is trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Dismiss that chance. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area. And defense is creased by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Canadians have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Colonels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Allen's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Empty net. you got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. An aggressive draw, something they've worked on in practice. They'll look for the quick win with the extra attacker. Takes a shot. Shuts the door with a great save. Allen's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. San Jose's won the faceoff. And a direct hit right there. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. And that'll do it for ringside here. Look, the series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that win. Yeah, everyone would, wouldn't they? I mean, it's such a long season. You play it, but then you get to the playoffs. You know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.